all my chores and runarounds and errands are done. Now I'm just trying to find a decent little place to give you a van tour. Funny thing about Colorado Springs, it's beautiful. It very much is. And uh, it's populated. <laughs> there are homeless people everywhere. It's just, you live anywhere long enough, you're going to see the cracks in the pavement. But I've seen, I've been here since 06. That's holy crap, 15 years. I'm ready to move on, man. I want the world to be my backyard. I'm, I, my kid's going to be 18 in less than four years. And in that time, I need to get a bigger van and uh, deck it out, and turn it into a house. And if my cat's still alive at that point, she's coming with me because I'm just going to do the van life gimmick. This is perfect. This Van Helsing right here is perfect for what I'm doing right now. And uh, if it's still good, I'll be able to trade that in and get a, you know, get what I really want. But man, I want out of this city. I don't want out of the city. I just want all cities. They're all mine. I want them to be all mine. Mine, mine, mine. All right. I've eaten here before. Of course I have. They have tacos. Found a little place here in the parking lot of uh, Amanda's Fonda restaurant and the Timber Lodge, which is over here. Cute little place. Never stayed there. This little dirty creek. Got some mountains behind us. Yeah, this is good enough. So for those of you who have not been watching the Asai TV Life series, my name is Brandon Bishop, and I am the executive producer and owner of Asai TV. This show and this whole thing is about everything that goes on behind the scenes of Asai TV. Not just all the shows that you can watch, not just all the, you know, stuff we post on social media the pictures and little behind the scenes stuff but this is like a full-on everything that goes on personal my personal life uh, everybody that we work with all kinds of fun stuff and uh, where this might concern you because I want to promote this as a van life thing a van tour of my 2018 Dodge Caravan uh, because those get lots of views and for some reason I've been succeeding in a lot of things but I've been failing miserably at getting likes and uh all the subscribing stuff for this show and this uh this channel so i would like to fix that by uh catering to what people like <laughs> next thing i'll eat spicy things and you can watch my reactions i'm sorry this shit drives me crazy i bust my ass to do a television network a real television network and you can watch that television network on Asai TV, on Roku, Amazon Fire, Stick, uh, Apple TV, and at AsaiTV.com. Well, let's get to this van here. It's a 2018 caravan. Just bought it about a month ago. I already took it to Florida and back. So if you have been watching, you've seen quite a bit of it. And uh, starting up at the front, I just put these on today. And that's what you need to do. Subscribe. It's only five bucks a month. 17 cents a day. Less than that cup of coffee you had this morning from Starbucks, wasn't it? Yes. All right, let's get into this thing. All right. I'm into my home, away from home. It's a nice little chilly day out. I'm really liking this weather. <sighs> Enjoy the altitude. All right, let's get into it. You may remember when I got the van, I had this ugly ladder rack on top. These are the only remnants from it because I didn't want to take them out because that would be a very costly and uh, annoying job. But I'm going to use these really soon, probably this week, to weld on a roof rack because I have a giant storage thing coming pretty soon. Got some stickers. Yes, that's what you're watching right now on YouTube probably. There's the website again. There's the name of the van. And uh, of course, license plate on the back. Subscribe to SI TV. Remind me to get my plates. I keep forgetting. I still got time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty beautiful. I was gonna get a full wrap on it, but it's really not good for resale. So yeah, let's start in the front. There's a nice sweater in here that has the logo on it. I got seat covers coming. Those are gonna be here in about a week and a half. Uh, what do we got over here? A little candle to remind me of my friend Laura in Jacksonville. Ooh, it smells good. So does she. Okay, I have, uh, this is what you're seeing me, the phone on most of the time, but I have like a side angle 
also it's for uh not clamped on there very well but also for people when they're riding with me my daughter will be here soon in here what do we got bug spray hand warmers uh, a lantern oh these breath vents are really good i need one too lip balm sunscreen i got more key fobs i got a, a laura bar i think i want to eat that pretty soon too this one's a delicious just odds and ends in here and then in here there's there's my dash cam that i gotta hook up still another charger bunch of ink pins stuff now this right here i got at ikea for like seven dollars i gotta lift these up and then, oh it's a trash can i believe but for me, it's a center console, and it works better than any center console I've ever seen because I got all that space in there, enough space to hold my Jackery. And that's just a Jackery uh, 240, but it works amazing. I've, I have spent 10 days on the road, and I didn't need any power. I got uh, little things like uh, lint rollers and deodorant and Febreze for when I fart in a car. Underneath there is just, you know, papers and stuff like that bought this at a place called daily deals in jacksonville and it's been my new van water bottle i wish it was uh that color blue which i got this at freaking target i think maybe walmart i don't know but uh this thing is like the best bottle in the freaking world i think i want another one uh the second best bottle in the world is not this one that's just a regular starbucks one the second best bottle underneath this paper towel is the pee bottle yeah look at that thing it's been through hell already it looks like that because i sprayed for breeze in it because uh every time i opened it i wanted it to die uh there's a baseball bat under here there's a canopy right here that's four by six it goes perfect on the side of the van there's a couple chairs and stuff all of that stuff's going to go in the overhead storage uh, as soon as that comes into play i always forget i have stuff up here do i have anything i can put sunglasses up look at me i got all kinds of stuff what is that it's just nothing uh okay anyway under here is uh that's where the fridge is plugged in i'll show you that in a second the other one of those is right over there but for some reason it stopped working when i used my travel stove in it and that really upset me but this fan at night i run the cord up here and then that plugs into the jackery and it lasts all night it's kind of wonderful so amongst uh, as soon as you walk in here you're gonna see the refrigerator <laughs> now this is a really weird one because i think we brought like a chinese knockoff or something because there's no there's no name there's no name the instructions didn't have a name of the company but it looks like the alpa something alpaline or whatever it is but the thing is it freaking works i just turned it on and i mean this thing freaking works under here i have a backup power slash there's plugs on it it also has an air compressor and a jumper and i have another one of these in the back too so i'm not running out of power anytime soon the bed is simple it's a uh this is what it came with right here it was like a simmons beauty rest single size which barely barely fits me but when i add this guy on top of it which is a trifold bed uh, I have five inches of uh, memory foam, gelled memory foam, and it's just absolutely wonderful. Bought some sheets at Camping World for it. Bought uh, this blanket, and it's kind of ugly. I need to get a new one, but it works for now. Blanket from home, some pillows in the back. Honestly, when I'm sleeping in here, I'm more comfortable than I am at home for some reason. Oh, yeah. Now, this over here, my laundry bag folds all the way down when it's empty and i got little things like i got another thing right here this is where i watch tv or or film myself when i'm sleeping at night for the show so i got like, like little stuff like this everywhere like i think i went overboard i got a tray table here that comes out that's actually coming really handy this is an outdoor table that uh will go in the overhead bend as well these fit perfectly down here and what these are i'm sure you know they block out perfectly they're made for this actual vehicle they block out everything just like these do and they keep heat in they keep uh keep it cool when it needs to be cool so i have uh i have a wonderful little apartment down here but underneath is where all the fun is each one of these like this is a uh, bathroom and laundry and you know kitchen stuff and stuff like that this one's got different stuff in it now but it's where all my clothes go and this one here oh there's my light love this little light got it at walmart 
actually the cool thing about this light is uh, whenever I'm outside boom it sticks right on the metal I know I'm gonna forget that someday and it's gonna be roadkill but until that happens I like having it having it this one right here is all for food and kitchen stuff and it, it's just I got a battery box under there I got my travel stove in there which is I got my uh, burner which is this gray thing right here uh, and everything's awesome it all works like it's supposed to and I have no complaints about anything subscribe in the back is my gym bag with all my bathroom stuff toothbrushes soap all that good stuff is all in that bag got a first aid kit which came in handy in Florida when I sliced my fingers open uh, and this thing I've showed you this probably before but it's basically the best thing I own in this whole vehicle sorry to everything else how cool is that you just charge it up before you leave the, the charge on there is going to last you at least a month and I'm really thirsty right now so hang on put a little carpet there there's a rug underneath it as well and I'm, I keep looking for different places I would love to put a computer right here so I can edit on the road and put shows together uh, I think I'm just gonna have to invest in a really nice laptop instead because I don't really want a full-size computer there and a laptop I can at least hide under the bed if I need to One of my other favorite things is this trash bag. I got a carbon monoxide detector right there and a smoke alarm. Another little light in here in case I need one. Uh, you never have too much light, silverware and stuff right there. This trash bag's awesome though. Hey, it's got trash in it. And uh, it just suits its purpose. Can't complain. Oh look, the bungee cords, yay. I need to be very careful opening this door because things just, oh shit, see? Oh look, I got bolt cutters. I forgot I even bought these things. I have no idea where to put those. But there's uh, all kinds of stuff going on over here. I actually thought I got rid of this bowl, but I kept it and just hid it on myself. Full size, zero degree weather sleeping bag there. Uh, here's some more chairs and everything that I need for the little security right here if needed. More security right here if needed. And uh, I guess that could be security as well. <laughs> Do me a favor. Don't mess with me when I'm on the road and don't mess with this van and you'll be all right. I can't tell you about the other security. Hopefully I'll never have to use it. But there is this over here. Where's it at? <laughs> For easy grabbing, this is the knife that sliced my finger. So I'm gonna try my best not to let it do that again. But this is the sharpest damn nook. There's my blood on it. That's crazy. Um, sharpest knife I've ever held in my life. Plus, you can punch somebody in the face with it if you need to. Hey, you got to be safe. So I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my little van and uh, please subscribe to this channel and watch the adventures man. Like the stuff that goes on behind the scenes at a side TV is often just as interesting if not more than the, the shows that we feature. Eh, it's hard to say. It's all great. Just watch the shows, watch the, uh, 
the Asai TV life on YouTube, or actually, I'm going to put this on the network as well. But yeah, I love that little van. I love this little van. And if I didn't have a kid and a cat right now, I would probably live in it full time. That's the truth. And as soon as the kid's 18 and he's doing his own thing, whatever van I have after this one, I'm going to call it home. Maybe I'll get an RV. I don't know. Let's see how we're doing at that point. But that all really uh, depends on whether you subscribe or not. So please go to AsaiTV.com, go to Roku, go to Amazon Fire Stick, go to your Apple TV. It's five bucks a month. Find Asai TV, A-S-Y TV. And uh, like I said, AsyTV.com. It's five bucks a month, people. You can make all of our dreams come true.